What up? This is Rap Hits. And so Little Reese got arrested. I had reported first that he was wanted and he was on the run. Basically, he had a warrant out because they're saying he went to this club and roughed up his ex-girl because she was playing him to the left, basically. And so he lost his temper, they're saying, and he roughed her up. And so if this is actually what happened, I'm sure there's going to be video footage coming out because usually in a club they would have video footage you would think but it's not guaranteed there's video footage if there is though this is going to be a problem for reese plus there's probably witnesses so we'll have to see if any witnesses will come forward and cooperate with this case because right now they're saying they got marks around her neck where they can see that she was choked up and stuff so even without witnesses or video footage they should have enough probable cause to get this case going and that's what they did because apparently they talked to her they saw the marks but they, they're gonna probably need more like a witness to confirm everything happened because who knows how those marks really got there you know so in a club you never really know what type of crowd that is in there so in a club a lot of people don't like to talk to police usually if you're in a club these aren't the type of people that usually like to cooperate with police investigations and stuff so the thing is there's probably like bouncers or there's people who make drinks in there bartenders and stuff so you know there, there might have been somebody credible enough to come forward and talk to the police and confirm what happened so this is going to be a battle for reese because it was in such a public place because it seems like a lot of his other incidents he had that he was able to beat was like one-on-one -on -one incidents so it turned out to be his word against her word when it came down to it and i think that's why he got off of a lot of his other cases is because you kind of need some witnesses to back up what you're saying if you're going to be accusing someone of something or there needs to be some substantial evidence that you did the crime so yeah at this point you know it sounds like the other cases was just one-on-one -on -one things where there wasn't really a whole lot of you know evidence involved just her word against his word so this one is going to be different though so reese had an opportunity to really you know take off but he just he doesn't seem like he's the most inspired to rap because a lot of people was liking how he sounded now. Like with his voice, after he got um, into that incident where his neck got uh, shot and he almost could have passed off of that. You know, he could have been unalived off of that situation. But the Grim Reaper was able to make it through that. And at first he couldn't really talk that much because his voice was real messed up. But then he started rapping. And people was like, yeah, they kind of actually feeling that new flow. And I personally think that that new flow was good. So, you know what I'm saying? That voice sounded real raspy. And I think he had an opportunity to really put out some content and make some stuff happen. I mean, I saw he just did a video with Shoebox Baby. He just did a, another video with someone else. And both of those videos did numbers. People are checking for Reese. So he does a lot of collabs with Tate Savage. And so... Yeah, but he just can't seem to stay out of trouble, you know, because he was out there messing with Swag De Niro, you know what I'm saying, talking about he was going to um, let him have some smoke. So JoJo's brother, he was, you know, going back and forth with, and he just always seems to be in the mix. I mean, just it was just like a couple months ago that he just got his charges dropped for a similar incident. So how many incidents is Reese going to have like this with women? Why does this keep coming up? He just can't, what, control his temper? It looks like he's been drinking a lot. That's the thing, is I noticed that a lot of his uh, posts on social media and stuff, it seems like he's been hitting that bar a lot. Like I said in my last video, it's like he's finally in an area where he feels he can go to the bar because in Chicago, that's a no-go. You can't go to the bar and stuff. That's not recommended to go out to the bars and stuff when you're in the streets and you're in Chicago. It really, the safest place I would think to go to the bar in Chicago would be like downtown or something. But other than that, I mean, people say they don't recommend you really going out like that and having a nightlife when you're in Chicago. So where Reese, he's somewhere where he's far away from his ops and he's in Texas. So he feels like he can head out to the bars and it sounds like he's been taking advantage of that and going out pretty much all the time now i just keep seeing videos of him drinking and i think that's what the problem is because he already seems to have a temper issue when it comes to females and because with all these accusations how many of these could just be random accusations without any truth to it you know 
at some point you got to wonder if maybe you know he is doing some of this stuff so who knows i mean it's going to play out in the court of law so we'll have to see what comes of this but at this point you know we'll have to even see if he can, he's going to get bail or not because you don't know if he's going to get bail at this point you know because he keeps getting jammed up in situations like this so we'll have to see what comes of this and so uh and other news look let's let's hit this this news real quick we got little tj what's going on with little tj i'm hearing that he is in a rico so they're saying that tj is caught up in this rico from a brooklyn-based gang and they're calling this a slaughtery gang or something so it's basically resulted from him just kind of hanging around the streets still like not giving up hanging with the streets so he should have really stop doing that he should have stopped hanging with the street so heavy and been smart about it you know do your music do your videos you got a major deal why are you still hanging out with the streets but i guess he doesn't want them to look at him like he's abandoned the streets so that's probably why but i haven't heard much of this information about little tj so let me know what, what y'all heard about it because this is what i'm hearing that he's caught up in a major rico out in brooklyn new york and I did find it suspicious that he kept getting caught with that heat and they kept letting him out. So this was over the last two or three years. It just seems like he might have got caught with heat like two, three, four times. And they don't play that in New York. So I was thinking something was suspicious about that right away, how they kept letting him out. And I think they probably was letting him out so they could keep investigating them because I think that's what they were up to. And they're like, they can't complete their investigation if you have them locked up. So. They must have got word to let him out. And I think that's what kept happening is they kept letting him out so they could keep an eye on him. And it sounds like they've been watching him and they've been seeing that he's been hanging around the streets. And ho hopefully he hasn't been financing them with any of his money to buy anything that would get them in that Rico in the first place. So if they try to link his money to, you know, whatever, if they had some heat, if they had some switches or if they had some substances or whatever, if the feds can link, well, I don't think it's a Fed Rico. I think it's a New York State Rico. So either way, though, I think they're going to want to try to see if he was financing them in any way. And that's probably how he got caught up in it anyways, is they probably try to find a paper trail that leads back to little TJ. And they're trying to see if he has been financing that crew. And so um that's about it for today i'm gonna come back though later on uh because i got some more to talk about make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell and check the links follow rappers on all social media all right i'm out